What's up guys everything in one back here with another video, so, we had just unboxed, the brand new Nokia X6, and its box includes a fast charger, a USB type C cable and some, documentations. So, the new Nokia X6 comes with a 5.8 inch full HD plus display with a screen resolution of, 2280 into 1080 pixels, and 19 by 9 aspect ratio. There's a notch on top of the screen, and, the display is covered by a layer of Corning Gorilla Glass 3, which protects from minor, scratches. The phone has a headphone jack at the top, while USB Type-C port and the speaker grills, are placed at the bottom. The Nokia X6 features a metal frame, with front and back glass design. The back looks, extremely beautiful, with a reflective glass and a metal frame. Good finish by Nokia. The Nokia X6 runs on Android 8.1 Oreo operating system out of the box, and also comes with Do Not Disturb mode for gaming. The device is packed by a 3060 mAh of massive battery, which supports quick charge 3.0 fast charging technology, that can deliver up to 50% of charge in 30 minutes. The smartphone doesn't comes with any custom UI, so it means that it is supported by stock Android. Also the amount of bloatware in this smartphone is almost negligible. It also comes with 3D touch function, through which you can open some apps quickly, like camera, gallery, or anything you want. So I don't have any complaint regarding its software department. The smartphone will be available in two variants based on RAM. The 4GB RAM model packs 32GB and 64GB internal storage while the 6GB RAM variant packs 64GB internal storage. The interface is very snappy and fluid, thanks to bloatware free stock Android. I don't even notice a single lag in this smartphone, and the response time is very quick and smooth. Like other smartphones nowadays, this smartphone also comes with the face unlock feature. Let's quickly have a look at its speed of unlocking the smartphone. So the face recognition works good. But it is not fast as we have saw on Redmi Note 5 Pro, or Honor 9 Lite. The only thing that feels unsatisfying in this smartphone is its battery. It comes with a 3060 mAh of battery, which is not enough for a whole day. However, it comes with a super fast charger that may help you in low battery situations. So I don't think so that you need to be worried with its battery capacity. Under the hood, the device is powered by Qualcomm's recently launched Snapdragon 636 octa-core processor, which also powers the Redmi Note 5 Pro and Zenfone Max Pro M1. Also, the benchmark scores are fine, and its scores is looking very similar to the Note 5 Pro's score. For camera, the smartphone comes with a 16 megapixel RGB primary sensor with f/2.0 aperture and a 5 megapixel secondary monochrome sensor with f/2.2 aperture. So, that's all guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to get subscribed to our channel for future updates and as always, keep watching and keep smiling.